सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक इन वन स्केन इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द ए आर सी मेमरी मैनेजमेंट एंड इन टूडे लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ रिजोल्व द स्ट्रोंग रिफरेंस साइकिल बिटवीन क्लास इंस्टांसिस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस वट इज द ए आर सी एंड हाउ स्ट्रोंग रिफरेंस साइकल्स क्रिएटेड If you did not watch my previous lecture, I have given the link in the description box, so you can check from the description box. So you better know about what is the strong reference cycles. So here is you can read from the Apple documentation is given that Swift provides a two-way to resolve strong reference cycles when you work with properties of class type, weak references, and unknown references so these are the two properties with the help we can break the strong reference cycle so here we can read first weak references a weak reference is a reference that does not keep a strong hold on the instance it refers to and so does not stop arc from disposing of the reference instance so a weak references does not stop arc from disposing of the reference instances so here you disposing is you can say the deallocating the reference so when we use the weak references you can indicate a weak references by placing a weak keyword before property or variable declaration so because a weak reference does not keep strong hold on the instance it refers to it possible for that instance to be deallocated while weak reference is still referring to we will use practically how use the weak references so here is the example so person and apartment class so in previous lecture we have used this examples and implemented in our example also so we will add this weak keyword in our example so this is the example we have used in our previous lectures so here is a strong reference cycles is created so because t init method is not calling here so if suppose if i run it then yeah so if i run it so here the only zone app list is being initialized so only here init method is calling but init method is not calling in any class but here both variables is nil we declared in the view controller but uh, after the nil of uh, both variables the init method is not calling so breaking this cycle we simply add here suppose here is the apartment and here tnit is the property of the person so here tnit property is now the weak variable so we will add it here so weak is a keyword of the ship and now we simply run the application and we will check yeah so here you can check that now the both tnit method is calling here zone applet is being deinitialized and apartment a4 is being deinitialized so here check in the diagram so diagram is now looking like that so now zone is stronghold on the person instance and a unit a4 is a strong reference with the apartment instances so here apartment is a property of the person class is stronghold with the apartment and here person tnit is the property of the apartment class have a weak reference with the apartment so here we have declared like that so here weak and so apartment property tnit is a weak keyword is added before that property so it is weak property of the apartment and here apartment is a strong property by default property of every class is a strong property so in diagram it's looking like that so person instance still has a strong reference to the apartment instance but apartment instance now has a weak reference to the person instance so it's a very important line for read purpose this means that when you break the strong reference held by zone variable by setting it to nil there are no more strong references to the person instance 
so we can check it like that if I nil the first variable and run it so now only one denit method will be called so only zone applied is being deinitialized because zone is a variable of the person class so person is holding the reference from the apartment class but the apartment property tnit has a weak hold with the person class so here dnit function is calling and if we try to nil both the variable then both dnit function is calling here yeah so here you can check then both denit method is calling here so now if you nil the only first variable zone then the diagram is looking like that zone has no strong reference with the person class and the classes with each other no strong references so only unit a4 has a strong reference with the apartment instance so now the classes with each other have no strong references the only remaining strong reference to the apartment instance is from a4 variable if you break that in strong reference there are no strong reference to the apartment instance so here when you a unit a4 is nil so after that the diagram is looking like that now zone has no strong reference and classes with each other has no strong references so the both classes denit method is called so with the help of this diagram you can better understand how the functioning is working so next keyword we used for break the strong reference is unowned references so like in weak references in unowned references does not keep strong hold on the instance it refers to so unlike a weak reference unowned reference is used when other instance has same lifetime or a longer lifetime so you simply unown reference by placing a unown keyword before a property or a variable declaration so unown work like a weak variable weak keyword and unown also does not keep a strong hold on the instance it refers to unlike a weak reference unowned reference is expected is always have a value so as a result marking a value of unowned does not make it optional arc never sets unowned reference value to nil we always expect that unowned reference is always have a value so we declare the unowned simply placing the unowned keyword suppose here is the example so same example here customer and no here the different example here so customer and credit card so customer has a property name card credit card so customer credit card is optional here but here is the credit card so every credit card have a customer so it's not optional property is a unowned property we will implement this example in our application suppose we are removing these glasses from here and i will try to add this example suppose i am copy on these classes from here and we will add here customer class and here is the credit card class and we remove this code here also and now we use the zone is the variable of the customer class so you can now create customer instance and use it to initialize and assign a new credit card instance so suppose here we will add it like that so here zone now is the variable of the customer class and we are using in the customer class name and card so here credit card is optional for the customer but the credit card is a must have a customer so it's declare as unowned and we are expecting every credit card must have a customer so we are assigning customer a name from here zone variable we are using here zone dot card and credit card we are supplying in the credit card class the number we are using so here we are using the card property of the zone and we are 
adding a class credit card class so in the credit card we are using number and customer so here credit card we are number is supplying this is the number for the credit card class and here customer customer is we are adding john so we are adding john here now the you have linked the two instances so now john has a strong reference with the customer instance because we are applying here name is john applies and card is credit card instance so because the first class is the customer class and the customer class has a strong reference with the credit card instance and we can check here code also the customer class and customer class has a credit card so you can check in the diagram that zone variable is strong reference with the customer instance and customer and customer is strongly reference with credit card instance and every credit card has unowned with credit card so it's optional that every customer have may or may not credit card but every credit card is must have a customer so the diagram is will look like that so customer reference now has a strong reference to the credit card instance and credit card instance has unowned reference to the customer instance because of the unowned customer reference when you break the strong reference held by john variable there are no strong reference to the customer instance when you break the strong reference from the customer and john so the diagram will look like that so now the john has no strong reference with customer instance so suppose we are adding a john variable is nil here so now john has no strong reference with customer instance so now when you break the strong reference held by john variable there are no strong reference to the customer instance so we are adding here zone is equal to nil so now what will happen we will check after running the application here so not any d init method is calling here after adding zone is equal to nil but here is showing when john is equal to nil then john applied is deinitialized and card is being deinitialized but our application is not working like that not calling this function here so it is the mistake we because we deleted this from here so now we run the application again we will check its calling here or not yeah so here we run it again and check what is the problem so now the zone value is nil so here function is calling here so i think i click here so it's hiding from the bottom side so the both classes dnit function is calling now uh, so like this we can use of the unown so major difference between the unown and weak keyword that weak is always a optional type but unown is not an optional type uh, we are expecting always have a value in the unown variable so here unown is not an optional but when we declare weak so weak will be the optional type so i think it's helpful so please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for the watching